Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 1 through 10, where it is written. After Jesus had finished all his sayings and the hearings of the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave whom he valued highly, and who was ill and close to death. When he heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders to him, asking him to come and heal his slave. When they came to Jesus, they appealed to him earnestly, saying, He is worthy of having you do this for him, for he loves our people, and is he who built our synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them, but when he was not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you come under my roof. Therefore I do not presume to come to you, but only speak the word, and my servant will be healed. For I am also a man set under authority, with soldiers under me. And I say to one, Go, and he goes. To another, Come, and he comes. And to my slave, Do this, and the slave does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning to the crowd that followed him, he said, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. And those who have been sent returned to the house. They found the slave in good health. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The centurion was in the first century what you would call a God-fearer. These were people that revered the Jewish faith. They um, attended synagogue services if they were allowed to. Not the temple because they couldn't get in. And they revered the God of the Israelites. They revered the Hebrew scriptures and the ethical conduct laid out there within. And they did their best they could to worship the God of the Jewish nation. They couldn't fully participate because circumcision was a bridge too far. So they couldn't convert all the way and go to the temple to offer sacrifices. But among the synagogues and listening to the scripture and prayer and charity, you know, helping people out, they did the best they could. This centurion was a God-fearer. So he knows enough to know the Messiah, Jesus Christ, must be it. But he says, look, I'm a second-class citizen, so to speak. I'm not Jewish. I'm not circumcised. I can't go to the temple. So I won't even waste your time having you come to me. Just, just say the words, and it will happen. And that's exactly what happened in the text. Jesus isn't even close. He just says it. And the person's healed. He commends this person for their faith. Faith. Who are we? Are we the rich? Are we the powerful? No. Are we the most holy and the most righteous? Are, are we just radiating light from our halos? No. We was looking up here. Thank God no one's a mind reader. We'd probably be embarrassed by what we think most of the time. In fact, given the perfection Jesus Christ demands, he should say, get out of here. I don't want you here. He could have said to the centurion, yeah, you and your military took away our independence, oh, not even 100 years ago. We had the Hasmonean kingdom. And then you Romans conquered us. Get lost. Let them die. That would be the worldly thing to say. But he says, not only am I healing the guy, even in Israel, even in the first-class citizens, the real Jews who were circumcised and went to the temple, even there I've not seen the faith you have. He commends the man for his faith. So we can have faith. We might be second-class citizens of whatever, not the rich and powerful. We may not be perfect saints, but we turn to Christ in faith. That's enough. He's loving. He's forgiving. He forgives us and continue to make us like him. And faith in that, in the end, is all we really have. So let us pray for that strong faith. Lord, increase our faith. Through the centurion's faith in the text, and that's how faithful we be to you. For it's not about us, Lord, it's about you. Help us, Lord, to have faith in you. Amen.